I'm here in Green Bay, Wisconsin for the first time and I'm here at Lambeau Field named after Curly Lambeau. Now Green Bay is one of my fiercest rivals in the NFL because I'm a Viking fan. I grew up on uh, Fran Tarkenton and the Purple People Eaters uh, when uh, he took them to the Super Bowl three times before Joe Cap did it once. But I'm also an NFL fanatic and Green Bay is one of the most historical teams in the NFL and you can't argue with that. Now they've got, uh, they're some of the best fans in the world. Uh, they have, even though it's the smallest football market in the country at 104,000 people, there's a you have to wait for years and years just to get a season ticket. And uh, anybody who uh, watches a football game at 10 below uh, for most of the winter is, uh, is uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So uh, I've always wanted to come and see this because of its history. Now it's uh, July 30th and the training camp is uh, going to begin next week and uh, they have a uh, family day at training camp next Saturday so you can see uh, uh, fans already here just anticipating and uh, this this uh, <laughs> this uh, statue uh, of these people is actually a uh, history about the uh, the first Lambeau Leap. Uh, it was made in 1993 when LeRoy Butler made a spontaneous leap into the arms of fans. And now it's become a Packer tradition. And here is a statue of Vince Lombardi right outside the stadium. Head coach, GM, 1959-67, to 67, general manager in 1968. He directed the Green Bay Packers to five NFL championships in seven years a feat without parallel in pro football. His 66 and 67 teams also won the first two Super Bowls. And here's a statue of Curly Lambeau. This field is named after him. He founded the Green Bay Packers in 1919 and was a driving force in the team's early years, including the 1921 decision to join what is now the NFL. He served as head coach for the franchise's first 31 seasons, leading the Packers to six league championships. Here is the, where you can buy the jerseys and stuff. As you can see, people are already filing in to buy Green Bay Packer jerseys. And here's the atrium of Lambeau Field. And there's where you enter to go into a football game. Wow. Huge. You wouldn't get that treatment down in Dallas, by the way. Uh, so, Curly was with us and our coach for, uh, for 31 years until 1949. He brought six NFL championships. To he, they Bay. even have tours. Three in a row in 1929, 30, and 31. And uh, following the 1949 season, he wanted to move the team out to the West Coast. Well, right outside the stadium on Vince Lombardi Avenue is a sign, Welcome to the Frozen Tundra. Ha <laughs> ha, ho ho, Green Bay has, some of the, has had some of the coldest games in the NFL's history. And here's some more banners now. The uh, Green Bay, the city, has named a lot of streets after former players. Of course, we're now on Lombardi. I've already seen Donald Driver. I've seen uh, Mike Holmgren. And here's uh, Lambeau Field's logo. And across the street there is the Don Hudson Center, named after one of the earliest Packer players. All right, this ends my tour of Lambeau Field. Like I said, they're a fierce rival in my division.
And last thing I gotta say is, come on Vikings, when are we gonna do it? I'm still waiting. <laughs>